Here is a brief overview of the different things that Quizlet can do and how to share Quizlet with your students. Once you find or create a vocabulary lesson that you want to do, um, you will be able to access it just by clicking on Quizlet after logging in. That will show you all of the current sets. You click to open your set and here you'll see all of the different options. You have a flashcard option which can be shown as either both the definition and the term, starting with the term and then clicking to see the definition, or starting with the definition and clicking to see the term. You can also turn audio on or off if you have students who struggle with reading. The Learn tab will have you actually pull the term from your memory and type it. Change. The Speller tab will pronounce the word and you have to type it in. Future. You can see that you can either have it speak it fast, slow, or speak the definition fast or slow. In the Test tab, you can actually create your own test or your students can create their own test with a myriad of different options. They can have a written, which is demonstrated here, matching, which is demonstrated here, multiple choice, or true and false. You can have all of these different things or you can just select the one that you want, click create new test, and it will create all of the test words just from those items. You can also play scatter, which is something that the kids will like to play. In this, you have to actually match the definition up with the term. If it's correct, they will disappear. The students can race against the other kids or they can also race against themselves. In race mode, the kids have to click start playing and then they would have to type the term before the definition crosses the screen. You can also change it and make the term go instead of the definition or you can randomize it. If you want to share a Quizlet set with your students, since they don't all have accounts and you're using the free option for now, you just click on Quizlet to return to your home screen and click on the set you want to share. You can click over here and say share and this will give you a link. You can either share the link with your students on the board or you can put it on a paper um, that has been graded for them to study at home or you can create the QR code which I'll show you in a future video. If you want to um, share a whole folder with your class you can go to your folders and click study folder here and the students can study the entire folder together for like a unit exam. You can click share and then you can email it To your students. You may notice that when you want to share a whole folder it does not give you a link it only gives you an option to email it. With your students if they do not use email there's kind of a workaround. You can just email it to yourself and here I have the email I received and you can click on the link to the entire chapter unit and then you can just copy and paste this link and share it with your students. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other ideas.